Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Homecoming by Kate Morton. This is her newest book in a couple years, actually, so I was very excited when this came out. It is definitely one of my most anticipated new releases of the year. And in typical Kate Morton fashion, this kind of involves uh, the weaving of a past and present storyline where the present day character is trying to figure out a mystery or something that happened in the past and this one in particular deals with a murder mystery so essentially we follow jess who in present day is living a life in london where she gets a call that her grandmother is in the hospital and so when she flies back to australia she kind of uncover uncovers this family secret where essentially her um i guess her grandmother's brother's family all perished in what was supposed was um which was assumed to be a kind of murder suicide where the wife um her i guess her great uncle's wife ended up uh poisoning her family and it kind of goes off from there where she's trying to investigate and kind of put the pieces together of this very unknown family history and I love this book I gave it a four out of five stars and I feel like Kate Morton just does a fantastic job of interweaving the past and present storylines in this case you get it either through characters perspective or a book that plays an important role in kind of recounting the events of the kind of that led up to the murder and so you're kind of figuring it out with the characters and trying to kind of unravel these clues that have been kind of lost to history and it was just a lot of fun I felt like this family not only is kind of like a murder mystery but it also deals with like motherhood generational trauma we follow basically three different generations of women within this family either at certain points of their lives or just we kind of get different point of views and it was really fun kind of getting that perspective from three generation of women within the same family and it was just a lot of fun i think if you like kate morton i think you will definitely like this and if you're looking for something if this kind of sounds intriguing um, I think you definitely will like it. One of my cons is that this book is over 500 pages and I feel like maybe 50 pages could have been shaved down from it. In particular, I felt like the first part of the book was fairly slow, especially when we're kind of getting introduced to these characters and the settings and where Jess is kind of coming back to Australia and I felt like there was just kind of a lot of mundane chapters that really didn't really add to much. So I felt like that part could have been trimmed slightly, but the second half of the book, I could not put it down. I kid you not, I read the last like 200 and so pages in one sitting. Like I could not put this book down. I just was like, I want to know what happened. I want to know what happened. And there are so many, like it's basically like you're figuring it out with the reader or with the main character in this which I really enjoy and you're just trying to piece together these like webs and threads that you think might lead somewhere and just kind of the plot twist at the end I kind of like guessed one of them but who like was responsible for the murder I did not guess so I really loved this and just kind of the interconnectedness of all the different kind of storylines that we do get in the different uncovering of the truth and kind of figuring out this murder mystery i really loved it so this book was much the wait was definitely worth it i thought it was really well done it's just a shame that it took a while for this one to come out because i feel like the last one came out 2018 maybe 2017 so it's been a few years since we've had a new Kate Morton book but this one was definitely worth the wait it was a really great read I love the interweaving of generational trauma with murder mystery kind of vibes to it and I really like how this into like how the author as well kind of created Australia as a character itself like I could picture myself in these in the towns that are talked about in this countryside and like all these other things like I felt like Australia itself was a character which was also really fun so yeah like I said overall I really enjoyed this book I had a few nitpicky things but overall it was well worth the wait and I'm so happy that I really loved it
that's it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you read this book and what you thought about it and which book is your favorite kate morton book i think mine is the secret garden or the forgotten garden sorry i think that one is my favorite but let me know which one is your favorite so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys